Welcome back guys, Mark here. Today I will show you what you can do in Lightroom to create high dynamic range picture. If you have in one frame very bright and very dark areas, you may get over and or underexposed places in your frame. You may have such problems if you are having strong sun and shadows in one frame. If you are shooting uh, at night and you have some lights in your scene. If you are shooting inside, but there is also visible some part of the world outside. But what you can do? You can shoot three or more pictures with different exposure and you can combine them together into one picture, high dynamic range. Let's do some edits together in Nitro. This picture is, let's say, normally exposed. Not very easy conditions, because you can see sun is hitting us directly, so we needed to find somehow the right exposure. So, let's see how it looks like. I put highlights down and shadows up, and I'm trying to find right exposure, something in the middle. Okay. So it is the best what I could do, but you could see I managed to be in the middle, so I have relatively good midtones, but I'm poor in the highlights because I'm losing information here, and the same in the shadows. I have some information, but I have a lot of noise. So this is definitely not perfect, and we can fix it together with HDR. So, to make HDR we need to have three pictures. One of them should be normally exposed, exactly this one. One should be overexposed and one should be underexposed. This one, which is overexposed, we are definitely not using for highlights. It makes no sense, as you can see. But what we can do? We can bring up shadows and you can see, this time we have a lot of details, but totally no noise. So this is perfect. So This underexposed picture is definitely not for shadows. As you can see here, this is much worse than the previous one. situation is totally different if we are focusing on highlights. As you can see, even right now, it doesn't look bad, but we can get even more. You can see, this is there is a lot of information in highlights, so we can, we can take whatever is needed. So, we have three pictures. Overexposed, to get the details from shadows. Underexposed, to get the details from highlights and normally exposed to get details from midtones. We need to select our pictures. By the way, we may have more pictures than three with different exposures. We, can, we may have three, five, seven, but at least three are recommended. Uh, recommended. Clicking right, choosing photo merge and HDR. Okay, so what options we have? First option is auto align and it's trying to align picture before processing. So what it means? Uh, if you are shooting from your hand or using tripod as is recommended, but maybe even with tripod you have some movement, uh, Lightroom will try to align pictures to help in, in, in the further processing. So this is quite recommended per my view. Apart of that, we have auto settings in my view, you are very not interested in that option. You don't want Lightroom to try to set settings for you, like exposure, highlights, shadows. You prefer to do that by yourself. And the third option is about the ghost. So, what are ghosts here? Uh, as you can see, we have some people, but we, we shoot three pictures and one of them took even 13 seconds. So you could imagine people were walking. So if you will compare 
my pictures you will see people in different places and of course she was moving so we have some movement on that picture so this option is helping us to remove that movement you will see the effects a bit later i will use high but i will show you also effects if we will use medium low or none another option is show the ghost overlay so this is just this uh, these red places which are showing where the ghost uh, will impact your picture and create stack this option will just create the stack nothing more okay so let's merge and in the meantime i will create uh, the rest of the copies so again i'm clicking right photo merge hdr okay this time i'm choosing medium waiting for preview okay this time you can see smaller areas impacted clicking merge repeating the process low sorry photo merge and none we have our hdr files ready let's try firstly in that one without the ghosting so just super basic adjustments putting highlights down shadows up and bringing up a bit exposure you can see we have a lot of details in the shadows okay and we have no noise so this is this is super okay let's check the highlights in terms of exposure i think this is quite good you can see a lot of the details so it's really really cool but lightroom failed here i mean we intentionally choose now the ghosting and and we have the effects okay this picture is not acceptable let's take a look for another one let's do the same adjustments of course in terms of details in shadows and highlights we will have the same but let's see let's focus only on the, the ghosting so here we have a bit more guy sun looks better but strange effects here something like wave not acceptable let's check another one the same the same adjustments also similar problem with the wave sun looks good here we have even almost full guy with some dirty clouds so also not the best one and let's check the last one you can see already okay it looks really really cool the ghosting did the effect and we have no no issues here okay super let's try to edit it a bit to add it final shape i just added a bit of clarity i'm changing temperature making making it a bit warmer a part of that maybe a bit of vibrance <clears throat> okay okay f maybe i will add saturation to the sky and change hue of blue a bit okay luminance of green will bring up and we'll change the intensity of the colors in calibration section if you're interested please check my other videos this is a very powerful tool okay and i think it looks good maybe we can increase it a bit more oh. okay i think it looks good we can do further edits if we like but i wanted to show you how we can create hdr we created it in one picture we have a lot of informations in both i mean in any area shadows highlights and midtones so this is the grade and this is the aim of hdr let's quickly take a look on more hdr pictures
I hope that video was useful for you. If you have any questions or remarks, please leave them in comments, I will answer for sure. I really appreciate if you click like button and subscribe to my channel to see more videos like that in the future. Thank you very much guys.